Good morning, Good morning Koi, Koi family. Today we have Sarah, Farah, Anthony, and our special guest, Trico the Iguana. Today we're learning about the Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. So as you guys know, we're in this period of time called Lent. Can you guys repeat it after us? Lent. Lent. Awesome. And as you guys know, we have a special theme each week that we follow. We started with preparation week so that we can prepare for Lent. But who knows what the first Sunday of Lent was? I'll give you a hint. It involves treasures. Treacle, do you know the answer? Treasures in heaven. Good job. Now, do we know what the second week was? I'll give you guys a hint again. It involves Jesus and it involves the devil kind of tempting him. Do you guys know the answer? If you know it, say it out loud. Temptation Sunday. Good job. Okay, now last week in our video, we taught you guys about a son and he left from home and, and then he came back to his dad and he got welcome. Do we know the name of that story? Trico, let's give him a chance to say it. Do you guys know last week's lesson? The... Let's say it together. The, the prodigal, prodigal son. son. And Farah, what did you say we were learning about this week? The Samaritan woman. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So before we start our lesson, in the next few clips, you're going to see all of us singing a few songs with you. Yeah. We sang, uh, he's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah. And I'm going to jump up and down. Yeah. Okay. See okay. you guys soon. All righty, kiddos. It's time to get up and bring your parents with you. We're going to sing and dance together. Jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna jump in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'll run this race and I will never stop. Follow Jesus till the day I drop. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. whole world in his hands. Make sure to follow the lyrics below and do the actions like me and Tun Tun. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday so far. So before we start our lesson, uh, we're going to sing one of our favorites. Thank you, Lord, for making me. So if you guys can stand up, stretch it out, and get ready to start the song. So if you want to pause the video till you're ready, we're going to start the song right now, okay?
a seat. We're gonna do a quick workout here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 jumps up to the sky, and then we're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Okay? So let's start off with our 10 jumps to the sky. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then now our 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. I'm tired. I'm really thirsty too. Let's get a drink of water. Oh, very refreshing. But now, I'm a little hungry, are you? How about this? I've got some salty crackers with me here. So how about you go to your mom or dad right now and ask them if you, you've got a couple salty crackers with you at home. And once you come back, unpause the video and let's get going. These crackers are very good, but I'm thirsty again. Hmm. So you see, just like water meets your body thirst, Jesus Christ meets your spiritual thirst, just like the woman at the well. Hey there, guys. So for today's lesson, we're going to be talking about week number four that talks about a very special Bible story. Um, talking about the Samaritan woman. So first I'm going to talk about the entire Bible story and then at the very end we're going to talk about what Jesus really meant by all what he said in the story. Okay? So first thing off, Jesus and the disciples were actually traveling together back to Galilee. And as they were traveling there, they stopped by a city called Samaria. And as they stopped, the disciples decided to go, and then they decided to get some food. But Jesus decided to go to the well. So right over here, this is going to be the well, okay? And right over here, this is Jesus. As Jesus was standing over there all alone, a Samaritan woman approached. When Jesus saw her, he says, give me a drink. Then the woman was surprised. You're a Jew, she said. Why are you talking to me? I'm a Samaritan. Jesus said, I asked you for a drink. You don't know who I am. If you do, you would have asked me for a drink and I would have given you living water. The woman was confused. Sir, the well is deep, she said, and you don't have a bucket. Where did you get this living water from? Jesus answered, anyone who drinks from the well, from this well water, so he's talking about this one. So he's saying, if anyone drinks from this well water, you will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water that Jesus gives will never, ever be thirsty again. In fact, he said, the water I give will be the well inside you and you have eternal life. Now, what did Jesus mean when he said that sentence? At this specific part, Jesus actually meant, and he was talking about the Holy Spirit. But the Samaritan woman was very confused. She obviously did not know what he was talking about. Then she said, sir, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, then I don't have to keep on coming back to the well for this water. Then Jesus and the Samaritan woman kept on talking about so many other things. And basically, Jesus knew everything about her, the good and the bad. And then later on, she told him, I know the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, he is talking to you now. I am the Messiah. Now, what did we understand from this Bible story? Um, so at the very beginning, if you guys 
remember, or if you want to go back in the video, at the very beginning it says, Jesus said, the living water. Now what does that mean? When he said that to the Samaritan woman, he was actually talking about the Holy Spirit. So I'm just going to put Jesus here. So he was actually talking about the Holy Spirit to the Samaritan woman. And then when Jesus said, it will fill us up, what he really meant is that once we get the Holy Spirit when we're babies, which we all did, it's always going to fill us up. For example, besides the distractions, we do not need distractions anymore. So if you guys can think of a couple of distractions that you guys see on every single day, then that would be a great example. The two examples that I have are number one is that maybe when um, when mom and dad ask us that it's time to for example um, put some time for God so read the Bible or maybe do something for Sunday school or maybe we even need to get up early and then go to church and then we find a distraction that can be like, mm, I stayed up late last night playing games with my friends, or I rather do other things. So these are all distractions. But when we get this Holy Spirit, which Jesus in this story talks about as the living water, we will be all filled up. Okay? And that is the Bible story. So keep on practicing. And then ask questions. And if you have any other questions, you can always ask. So what does it mean when I'm telling you that it will fill us up? So basically, in this story, it tells us that the Holy Spirit will fill us up. And what it means is that it will, our hearts in us, um, will always be filled with the Holy Spirit. And when that happens, we won't feel like we need any other distractions that will take us away into like not spending as much time as we could with God. So again, like I said, these distractions can be either um, playing video games, watching TV, um, you wanting to spend more time maybe with your friends and less time with God. So uh, once we get that Holy Spirit, then we're all filled up in our hearts and We'll just always um, have that Holy Spirit in us. And with that being said, that is the end of the lesson. And if you guys have any other questions, you can either watch the video again. Um, you can always ask your parents or...